Great stuff. Right. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend and that you are all well rested and ready for the week coming up ahead. I think this is the last week of August. If we don't yet, if we don't only have like maybe 10 or so more days left in there. My name is Prosper. Tarubinga, and I'd like to welcome you to this exciting episode of the Lunch and Learn. Samantha, thank you so much. Right, for those that are watching this for the first time, welcome. And if you um, haven't uh, been introduced to me, um, I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your one-stop shop for uh, digital marketing activities here in Melbourne. And I'm also the creator and the founder of the Online Prosperity Blueprint, which is your four-step guide to online prosperity. So the next 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about how you can actually start earning more money with less struggle, okay? So at the end of the day, um, you might be starting your uh, day or it might be Sunday, wherever you are. But those that are with me in Melbourne, you've already started your day and if you're already gone past halfway through congratulations okay so obviously it's a monday and you were you know chilling out over the weekend and now it's it's come to a time where you have to face your biggest nightmare which is normally work or your clients or whatever it is that's uh, giving you a living at the moment i would want to tell you that first of all you are not alone and second of all it's something that you can actually fix okay Every one of us goes through, um, you know, all these struggles, um, you know, that we normally find on, on a Monday morning um, when we would have probably left our work on Friday without having accomplished a few tasks. And then Monday's just, you can't just, you know, do it. All right. Now, how do you get out of that rut? How do you motivate yourself in order to actually start um, you know, representing your work, representing your business, representing, um, you know, your, 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 your clients and also making a lot of income and, f and, and pulling through, um, whatever work you're supposed to be doing. A lot of us find that very difficult to make that switch. Okay. Because we would have celebrated going on to the weekend, but when we really, really get to the crunch, it's hard for us to start working on a Monday. Now I'm here to tell you, my friend, first of all, you're not alone and there's certain things that you can actually do in order to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable i see shungu has just tuned in thank you so much my man sue raven thank you so much for tuning in i hope you're gonna last um with us the whole way through where we're talking about you know the mindsets that you need to shift in order to actually um you know start earning a lot more money with less struggle okay so you know unless you actually really really choose to be great guys it's not gonna come on its own unless you choose to be great you are only gonna be mediocre at its best all right it's 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 a it's a truth universally known that if you don't choose yourself if you don't choose to be do and have all the things all you're going to have is no results, you're going to be mediocre, you're not going to have any customers, and you're not going to have any results, okay? I see Lee has just tuned in. Thank you so much. I know you're in the States and enjoying um, your time there. We'll probably chat a little bit later. Uh, Kunal, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much. All right. So, you know, what? what is it that actually takes it for somebody to become great what is it that somebody has to do what is it that they have to be who do they have to become in order to actually become great i feel and i know and i think that it takes a very empowered mindset which is usually based on very simple things we tend to over complicate our lives yet there's just really simple things that we have to do in order to actually be do and have the lifestyles that we choose you know mother teresa once said the other time that everybody wants to go out and 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 heal the world or change the world while their home is not looking great when you want to change the world love everybody in your family love the things that you're doing love the work that you're putting out once you've got that mindset shift, nothing that you can get externally is going to make a difference. 
All right. So it takes you empowering yourself with a mindset that is just based on really, really simple strategies that will help you market scale and grow a profitable business. Craig, my man, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. All right. So success doesn't have to be horribly complicated. It just depends on how bad you want it. And it depends on how much you are willing to sacrifice in order to actually have what it is that you want. Some people look at success in, in you know, with, with, with goggles that do not expect or that do not entail for them to actually work for it. Some people look at it and they think it's just nice to have. But when it comes to the crunch, not a lot of people put in the work. All right. So, you know, for, for, for some people that I deal with, anything that gets too complicated mentally tends to be too overwhelming for them, for them to even adopt in their daily life. If you simplify your life, if you simplify your needs, if you simplify your goals and not overwhelm yourself, you actually end up doing, being and having things that are meaningful to you and things that are actually worthwhile for you to pursue. All right. People always talk about burnout. People always talk about, oh, I can't, you know, show up on Monday or, you know, the weekend just crushed me, etc., etc. It's because some of the things that we're doing are properly not aligned to who we are at a core level. All right. Because you can't do things that you are not meant to do. You can't give out things of which you don't have. All right. So somebody was asking me, I put a post up a little bit earlier you know, celebrating my wife and just being happy about where we've been and all that stuff. And somebody put up a state, a, a, a comment saying, oh, you're so lucky. I wish I had that in my life. The thing about life is you can only give out which you have. You can only give out what you have enough of because you can't give out. You can't give your friend money if you're broke. You can't give your friend a place to stay if you don't have a place to stay. So how do you expect to attract things and, and a lifestyle that you want when you're not providing a home, a, a, a comfortable home for them to come in when they do come around? All right. So we end up underachieving and we end up resenting what we have chosen, all depending on the lifestyle, the choices that we have made and created for ourselves. It's very, very simple. Duncan Musaka, thank you so much for tuning in. Man. I hope you're having a good week. All right. So greatness is actually more to do with an attitude. Every day I show up and I'm saying, I want you to earn more. I want you to struggle less. If I came in and my attitude was, eh, I think you can do this, you can do that. Would you think people would be sitting there and watching and following? I don't think so. So greatness really has to be an attitude that you actually adopt. All right. Because humans are creatures of habit. Whatever habit you might have today of towards your work ethic, towards your relationship with people, towards, you know, corresponding with other people. You can never have to turn that around if your willingness to do that is not aligned to the work that you're doing. That's the reason why people show up on Monday and they don't even want to be there. That's the reason why people show up on Monday and they don't want to write those reports or anything they're supposed to be doing because they're not in alignment with the results that are supposed to come out. All right. So you want to make sure that your greatness is up and, you know, is aligned to the attitudes that you put out. What you put out is exactly what you put in is exactly what you put out. All right. So to be great is actually a choice to enjoy Mondays is actually a choice to enjoy your work is actually a choice. You better choose what it is that you're doing in order for you to actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You know, sometimes people come to a business coach and they think they can just be given a trick or a gizmo or a strategy or whatever. But all those strategies cannot work if your star player is not in tune with what is supposed to be done. I can give you a strategy right now. I'm wrecking in the dollars by showing up uh, online every single day. You know why? Because people now get to know, like, and trust me. But if it's not your attitude, if it's not your character to speak in front of a mic, is this strategy going to work for you? It's working for me. 
right? So you need to figure out what actually aligns with your values, what actually aligns with who you are at the core, and just go out there and present that to the world. Right, so there's just a few sort of mindsets that you really got to figure out because these days it's no longer, it's not a race, guys, to, to, to be successful or to reach a certain level of income when your family is suffering or when your family is not actually, you know, enjoying you because you are all engrossed in work just because some lame guy sent you an email or a Facebook ad and you think you got to work extra hard in order to get the results that he got. You don't have his resources. You don't have his experience. You don't have his income. You don't have his support. You don't have the family that he has that allows him to work on a Sunday even if everybody else is out on a barbecue. Audit yourself. Once you do do that, guys, you will find out success, greatness, and all those things that are supposed to be aligned with what you're giving out, they just come out naturally. You know, I was talking about my story. If you follow uh, some of the stuff that I put out there on Facebook, I was talking about my story of how I came to, to Australia six years ago. First of all, I knew nobody Third of all, I was just trying everything that was working under the sun, but it was not working. When I realized that I was supposed to be the star player, when I realized I was the one that was supposed to create and relate to the clients that I was asking money from, that's when things change. Do you know what I mean? On Friday, you could have maybe picked up on a course that somebody was selling for a limited time only. And now you're trying to unpack it. You're trying to understand it and it's overwhelming. You know why? Because it wasn't meant for you. What you really got to realize is who am I and who needs what I've got? Because your life story and your experience have so much greater importance and commercial value than you could ever probably dream of. You know, you're here to actually make a difference in the world, not to just be a copycat of somebody else. And that's why your soul, your mind rejects everything that you make it do because it's not aligned. That's why Mondays are difficult. That's why Mondays are hard and you just want to go back to a weekend because you're not living every single day intentionally and actually aligning it to who you were meant to be and how you were meant to live that life. You know, sometimes some things, I don't want to lie to you, some things come into our zone because they were only just meant to teach us some sort of a lesson or for us to just know something that's happening around us. Hey, Nicole, how are you doing? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right. So we now then get too romantic and, 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 and we hold on to things just because we think that's how our story is supposed to be. Every single day you are changing. Every single day your needs are changing. Every single day your wants are changing. But something stays core within yourself. If you really, really want to understand how much of a changing person you are, it's difficult when you don't have kids. My two-year-old daughter, uh, two years ago, I, I could hold her just across my shoulder right now. Yesterday, I tried to lift her up. Now, she's just this gigantic girl who's got her own mindset, who's got her own, you know, view of the world and the way she wants things done. That's in two years. And she's completely changed from that little girl that I used to hold and cuddle and, and move around and turn around with the chair like this. You know, I would sit here, my phone, and I'm turning around like that. Now I cannot do that with her being two and a half. She probably start screaming, oh, daddy, what are you doing, etc., etc. So we don't realize the older we get, how much we are changing, how our needs change. So every single day that you wake up, you are starting all over again. All right. So you're starting again. You're reborn and you're, 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 you're going ahead. Whatever you're going through or whatever business you might be doing or whatever is going on in your life, every single day is a day for you to show up and introduce yourself again. Because the people that knew you yesterday, they're totally different. The people that you knew yesterday or you dealt with yesterday, they've also grown overnight. So every single day, you got to show up and introduce yourself again. 
regardless of what the year is going to bring, you must Always hold the mindset that each and every single day that you live, you're starting all over again. It's like Broadback Mountain. Now, some people wouldn't understand this concept. Stephen, how's it going, my man? Some people wouldn't understand this concept because they feel like it's a lot of work. And then they don't realize that a few things that they're still holding on to, their body doesn't like it anymore. Their mindset doesn't like it anymore, but they're still holding on to a story that somebody told them six years ago. All right. So no matter what you're doing, every single day is a day to start all over again. So that's the reason why when you start off on a Monday, it's a totally different day. New horizons, new things are coming in. The people you knew yesterday, they're also different. You got to go in and introduce yourself again. All right. So when you approach each and every single day with the idea that it might bring in a new beginning, you, you approach it with opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the people that you spoke to yesterday did not understand you. That's why they didn't buy. They might understand you today. So you go in, go in there. Hi, my name is Prosper. I'm here to help you, you know, get more money while you're having less struggle. Somebody is going to listen because it takes six to seven times for somebody to actually understand what it is that you do and why they should care. So you want to start treating it and every day as if it's a new opportunity with a new opportunity mindset. I mean, it's, it's, it's really natural. It's, it's, it's simple. The, the older we get, we set into our habits and everything just starts to look fluid, etc., etc. But if you're not changing, if you're not growing every single day, your clients are, your suppliers are. By the time you realize that everybody else has left, it might be a little bit too late. It might be a little bit too late. Because everybody is changing every single day. So it's, it, you it might find it very natural that, you know, as we go along with the grind of our daily life, that the day actually begins to, 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 to morph into another day. But if you're not intentional about who you talk to, how you talk to them, and why it's different, and why they should remember you tomorrow, you might be missing out on a whole lot of things that actually show you who you are and what you're growing into. This might sound like it's, it's all airy-fairy, but let me tell you something. Every single day that you're not showing up in, some, in, in somebody's face, your competition is. Your opponent is. And somebody is doing something to get that client away from you. By the time you wake up, they're not there anymore. So if you think your day is the same, then I want you to start thinking differently. Because if your days are just morphing into, into the next, into the next, and you're doing the same old thing, you will be missing out on critical components that can actually help you grow, that can actually help you relate, that can actually help you be, do, and have all the things that you really want to. All right? You stop getting your own unique individuality. You stop becoming authentic because you then now settle into, oh, it was always like this. It shall always be like this. You know why people are buying from you right now is because you presented a new point of difference. But if you're not changing and if you're not growing and if you're not showing them that they can also grow with you, then what's the reason with any, for anybody sticking around with you? That's why even relationships with your wife or spouse or whoever do not normally last if you continuously become the same person. If you don't change at all, you know, people get tired of that. Humans want variety and variety is the spice of life. I'm not saying be this, be that, be a different person today. But if you start treating every single day as if this is the same, then obviously the statement that they say that people die at the age of 25, but they only get buried when they're 75. That's a true story because every single day brings its own unique sense, its own unique people to meet, people to connect with, people to collaborate with, people to help, people to sustain you and your business and your livelihood and you keep your brain agile and happy and excited. You know why? Because you don't know what's coming up next. All right? So when your days 
and, and, and weeks start feeling like they're just a blur, you know, with no distinction between Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, then I think you need to put a part and break. Just stop whatever you're doing, you know, because because your brain is not that disciplined. Trust me, your brain is not that disciplined to 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 stay focused on just the one thing. You see, we only just tend to focus on what we have and we think that where we are is where we're meant to be. All right. But if you expand your horizons, you speak to more people, you speak to more prospects, you open up, you're delivering your message to more people every single day. What comes after that? You know, because every word that you're going to be speaking is a seed. All right. Every single day you're, you're, you're putting a seed on the ground. Now, what seed or what fruit do you want to be eating later on? Alright, so make sure you're intentional every single day. You're making people realize that you're there. You haven't gone. You're not a one-click wonder. The reason why most people don't share your stuff or don't talk about you at a barbecue is because they don't trust you're going to be there tomorrow. They don't trust that you're going to be there tomorrow. You know why? Even if you're there, they've stopped seeing you because there's nothing that's changing or there's nothing that's unique about you anymore. All right. So, you know, this this whole, um, you know, type of um, mental laziness, it, it keeps us from succeeding in a lot of levels. It definitely keeps us succeeding from a lot of levels. The relationships we have with our spouses, the relationships we have with our customers, the relationships we have with our prospects, the relationships we have with our suppliers, all those people, they are also looking for a bit of variety. And if you're not showing up and, sh and telling them that your life story and your experience has any value to them, mm, nobody's going to care. And Stephen says, sow the seeds for tomorrow. Well, exactly, because people need to see, you know, your stuff six to seven times before they even engage or purchase or anything. Look it up or try it out or even look at this. Some people need to see up until they're convinced that this person is, is not just going to run away. So it's that mindset of you treating every single day as an opportunity to go and revive yourself in the market. I'm not saying post 500 times a day. I'm not saying, you know, go out and annoy people. But I'm just saying consistently be intentional about how you want your results to be. Because if you just have the, 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 the mental laziness of, oh, build it, they will come. Trust me, guys, there's 7 billion people in the world, 2 billion of which are on Facebook. What makes you special? Who do you think you are? So, you know, this type of mental laziness, it keeps us from succeeding from a whole lot more levels than we think. We desire greatness. We desire a lot more things. But because we're just living, you know, from day to day and we're not really intentional about what we want as results, people also take notice. When your attitude is not in line with what you say you're going to deliver, people can smell that a mile away. You know? So you want to start living a day at a time. And when you chunk it down to that, when, when you start your day, because you're never getting all these days that you're not leaving, guys. They are gone. They're done. History has already happened. And if you didn't put your mark in there, don't expect it to just happen one day or it's all just going to morph into some sort of success when you're not treating each day as if it's an opportunity. And Monday is one of those days. When, when you get those results, nobody's going to know you did this on a Sunday. Nobody's going to know you did it on a Friday. You know? I, I, I like this quote by, um, what's his name? Uh, Eric Thomas. He says he did his degree in 12 years. All right? And some people do their degree in four years. All right? But on the degree, they don't say how long did you take to do that degree. It doesn't mention the 12 years that he took to complete that degree. All right. So if you're going to be counting to think, oh, today's Monday, I'm going to chill. You're missing out. Yeah. 
So when you start pretty much you know, disciplining your mind to actually really get focused on being productive, no matter what day it is, you know, you, 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 or no matter what work you're currently doing, it becomes effortless. And when it becomes effortless, it becomes natural. And when it becomes natural, it becomes authentic. And people like doing business with other people that they know, that they like, and they trust. But if you're just peddling along because you're not aligned with your work, you're not aligned with the cause, you're not aligned with the results, nobody's going to want to knock on your house's door and think that you've got something to offer. You know, it's, it's, you know although it's imperative to, to actually have goals that go in maybe six, seven months ahead or years or lifetime, do you know what I mean? The whole mindset is what are you doing today? To make a difference in what goals or what results you're going to have in the future. You know? So every single day is unique. You never know who in that day would see your energy, would see your status and decide, you know what? On Wednesday, I've got free time. Let me call Alex. But you, if you didn't do that thing on Monday, how was Alex going to know that you needed to call them on Wednesday? So every single day is there for a reason. You got to find out what opportunity am I waking up into today? All right. You know, life, life is, is, is not just about, you know, winning or losing or, you know, getting trophies for participation. You know, as much as about starting again and actually just pretty much, you know, morphing or getting whatever knowledge you have from your past experiences. Every day matters. Because if a day is out, it doesn't make a year. There's 365 days in a year for a reason. If one day decides not to show up, that's not a complete year, is it? There's seven days in a week for a reason. If one day decides not to show up, they, that day didn't exist. All right, so, so I know you're not a thief. So stop robbing your future success by being lazy today. You're not a thief. Stop robbing the success of your family by being lazy today. You're not a thief. Stop robbing the potential of your clients by being lazy today. All right? Your story is not over yet unless you've decided not to even start it. Sometimes, sometimes we might think, oh, this is too overwhelming. It's because you're doing things that were not meant to be yours. Some things were just meant to come around to you so they can teach you a lesson. All right. So some people might hate me from today on, but you know what? I don't care. This is about you. When you start having this newfound, you know, belief about yourself, when you start becoming mindful about every single day and what intention you put in and simple ways, what I'm, what I'm suggesting here, you simply become unstoppable because every single day you're putting things together. Because every single day is a brick that you're putting towards a wall. You just don't set up to build a wall. Every day is a brick that you put in carefully. And if that brick is not there, that wall will collapse. So as soon as you start working on this, you know, over time, that belief now becomes part of your character. And you start doing it, you know, without even thinking about it. Because all we're doing is sort of dabbling into what we think is supposed to be happening, but we're not really fully investing our lives, our health, or anything to, 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 to build what it is that we want in the end. Yeah? So this is so much of a journey than it is anything else. So if you're going to be lazy today, that means you have stolen from yourself a day that could have helped you Connect to somebody else online, reach out to somebody who is going to be a client six months away or, you know, reach out to a supplier that could have helped you nine months down the track. So you really, really need to start figuring out, do I really want these results or am I just going to continuously just being lazy? Because at the end of the day, I don't want to lie to you, life is always filled with obstacles 
But not of all of them are hard as, as, as the ones that we put in our minds. You could reach out to somebody that can help you out. Because whatever you think is a problem to you, somebody has a solution from, from, from it. So if you remove all of those, you know, self-limiting beliefs or obstacles, you know, nothing is going to stop you. And Monday ceases to become a day that you can't even get out of bed. Monday becomes your power day to connect, to relate and meet the people that are going to put you towards where you want to go. I really want you to succeed. I really, really, really want you to start earning more money than you are doing right now. I really want you to start doing that with less struggle. Stop stealing from yourself. You're not a thief. All right. This has been my Monday talk. We'll see you again tomorrow because you know every single day for 30 minutes we sit down here and we talk about how we can get you to start earning a lot more money than you are right now with less struggle. All right. And if anything that I spoke about struck a chord, just continue the conversation with me in the comments below. In the meantime, I really want you to go and kick Monday in the whichever way you're going to put it there. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.